we're gonna go a little bit through setting right now uh, a big thing that happens is if, if you're tall um, most clubs will just throw you in the middle they won't train you to do everything else but you should learn how to set you should learn how to pass you should learn how to hit um, it's very big for every kid to learn every aspect of the game you could end up being a middle and that's fine but how do you understand the other side of the court and what the other side of the court is doing if you don't know every position and how every position moves and what they got to do if all you know is your own so it's better to develop every little thing every little aspect of the game and then play multiple positions and be able to be a player that is dynamic and can be utilized in any single situation you know you need to match up in a block you need to match up with anything it can be used that way but today and right now we're going to go a little bit through the setting all right so right now the biggest concept is hands right so your hands need to be turned into what i call the cone and a lot of coaches actually call it the cone because they use a cone to put between your hands to catch a tennis ball as a drill all right a cone should fit in there now I like to do hips up to a cone, right? Arms in, up to a cone. Not out here, not like this to the side. From hips, up in, all right? Now, every coach has a different way of teaching. We actually have a coach in here that actually likes to teach belly button. So, right, so you create the cone in the belly button area and you bring it up, all right? From there, up, all right? Different aspects, same results. We're going to the cone, all right? Now, after the cone, you want to let the ball fall in, push it out with your wrist, and you want to create what I call a window. Why do we call it a window? All right? We call it a window because once your hands are through, like right here, you should be able to look through it right here every time. All right? Boom. When we release, we go from here to a release like that. We want our hands that flat, that tight, to not create a double. All right? A lot of times, people do the claw. They do all kinds of different things, loose hands, one hand up, one hand down, all right? We do this when we finish setting, all right? That will make it harder on you to actually maintain the ball clean coming out of your hands and most likely will create a double, all right? So you want to finish with that window. So every time you set against the wall or set anywhere, make sure you finish looking at through the window. Boom, boom, through the window, all right? So. Little easy setting drills as you setting against the wall. Simple concept, right? You want to be able to set quick against the wall. Quick release. As soon as you feel it, let those wrists snap back. Boom. And push forward. All right, get under it. Get that feel for the ball. A simple, simple one. All right. You can back up. Do simple sets. All right, simple sets every time. Don't smack the ball, let the ball fall down, push out. Do not smack the ball, all right? Smacking the ball will most likely lead to a double. We do not want to smack the ball. We don't want it to make a loud noise every single time we set. But again, it's all high reps. Getting high reps, doing it the proper way. Making sure you finish with that window, start with the cone, finish with the window. Getting high reps, doing it the proper way is going to develop you, all right? Don't get lazy on me, though. Problem is, you start getting lazy, you start getting tired after a lot of reps, you start doing it wrong, which messes up your development and getting that muscle memory doing it the right way. So, from here, we can do high set, low set, high set, low set, high set, low set, all right? Easy drill, control drill. All right, now we can do the same. High set, straight up, turn, back set. All right, simple again. Let me demonstrate. Forward set, up. All right, now you might get dizzy after a couple of those. But again, another easy drill, creating control. Now a lot of times when it comes to hands and setting, you wanna create the most uncomfortable positions as you're setting. Why? You want to become really comfortable with that ball and those hands. you got to become comfortable with it because there's going to be a lot of situations where you're going to be uncomfortable. Many situations, you might get called for a double and you might start feeling that pressure of, oh no, what if I double again? 
and I'm costing my team some, some points. That's when you become comfortable with the ball, all right? So every single thing that you do in a game, it comes to you from practice, all right? So we want to go simple concept. We go around, soft hand, soft hand, soft hand. And then you go the other way as well. All right. Again, another easy drill. Just getting a feel for the ball. Getting a feel for the ball is the most important part of this. All right. Just getting comfortable with that ball nonstop. Just setting, setting, getting high reps, doing it the right way. You can get creative with it. You got a bag. You got a box. Soft hands, soft hands. Now, keep in mind, it's my first time doing this like this, so it might not look as pretty. All right. So we want to move up. All right, I'm gonna move back down. We do it again. Up, back down. Like I said, many ways you can get creative with that volleyball. If you're at home and you have a volleyball, including a medicine ball, get creative with it. Create uncomfortable situations where you gotta do that release. Create that window. Just make sure your hand contact and your hand release is clean. That is the biggest concept of creating that muscle memory. All right, those hand release from cone to window every single time. All right, keep working guys.